I need this. I need this. I need two of these. I need this. Give me that. I need this. There's always something that's gonna occur. Let's talk about it. So putting the blower together, that's pretty much the last function of this project is putting the blower together. And the blower is fairly simple. Um, all it does is just add oxygen um, to, the, uh, to the unit. And I have it here, since it's a deep water culture unit, you have to add oxygen to both the bed and uh, the fish tanks to, to keep the oxygen levels up. So the problem that I had here is that I had the blower here I had it connected here at first, had it plumbed here, it elbows down, goes underneath, trying to make it nice and neat, and then bring it, it, it came up over, then came up over here, elbowed over here, came down, and then went all the way across. Now, the problem with that is, is that when I turned it on, I would have, um, it, the, the air bubbles would blow, but it would be, I can tell that it has some type of restriction or it wasn't putting enough pressure on the, um, on the diffusers. And I know the blower is properly sized, so um, I figured that there was a problem. And I'm not sure exactly what the problem is that's doing it. I'm assuming that it may be because of all the elbows. You see, elbow there, coming across, come down. You know, like there's like, you know, four or five elbows. Maybe that's a problem. Or maybe because I had the, um, the airline submerged in the water. And the water level here on the uh, deep water culture or the floating raft unit is higher than the actual um, than the actual blower. So maybe that could have been causing it to blow with a restriction. And also, so it was, it, and it was blowing with a restriction in the deep water uh, in the floating raft unit. But then in the tanks, I was hardly getting any air coming out. So I knew there was a problem. So what I had to do was I had to go ahead and change the location. I took it um, and elevated the blower and put it up here on these um, these concrete bricks. And all I did was just run the line straight across. Simple, very simple stuff. Not, no fancy elbows or anything like that. I did it exactly how I had my other blower um, in the other um, uh, hoop house. And when I did that, miraculously, boom, everything is blowing. All the diffusers, they all have the correct amount of air and um, I'll let you see right here. Yeah, they're all blowing the correct amount of air. And also the fish tank, the, uh, the, the bubbles are being diffused through here and everything is perfect. That is another lesson in simplicity. That's why simplicity is very, very important when doing aquaponics. It's extremely important because something as simple as, I don't know what it is, I think it's these elbows, like I said. I think it's these elbows that cause the restriction and um, are causing the, um, the, the airflow to not be able to to penetrate as as is uh, uh, required to do. So, basic. That's it. Just something basic. Running across. I got them all set up now. Everything is running absolutely fine now. These these are new uh, tubing here. This, this, this tubing here is new, so it keeps twi uh, uh, twirling up and keeps retracting. So I wanted to get evenly spaced uh, in the uh, the floating raft. So what I'm gonna have to do is get these things stretched out. And I'll just tuck them underneath some of the rafts. Put them all the way in here. And then push the raft back in. And this will pretty much, after a while, the sun beaming on them, loosen up these tubes, and then um, eventually I'll be able to cut them to whichever, uh, whatever size I want them to. So I'll have it distributed evenly um, throughout the raft. So that's pretty much it right now. That's the blower. Pretty much got it fixed and it's operating and uh that's i'm satisfied so basic always stick to the basics as basic as possible i can't stress that enough i always have to say that so the last thing i'm going to do for the day uh, before we end up running the system is i'm going to go ahead and just finish uh these pipes here are not glued together so i'm going to go ahead and glue them together put this um the rest of this piece to connect it to the tank and then um from there we're running and I'll show you guys um, what it looks like. So stay tuned. Alright, 
Time for the moment of truth. Time to go ahead and plug it up and get this thing going. You hear it. All right, so we got the pump. Okay, first tank right here. Flow. Second tank, we got flow. And then over here, the floating raft, we got flow. Woo! So it looks like everything's working, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. That's what the heck I'm talking about. Okay, sump tank. We got everything working. Look around, see if there's any leaks. Check for leaks on any of the plumbing. Any of the plumbing, any of the areas being plumbed. Yep, there's a small leak. Yep, right here. Right here. You see, there's always something. So, uh, i just go ahead and put some more glue on there. Maybe I didn't glue it good enough. So other than that, everything looking good, man. Everything is looking good. I'm super excited right now. Um, it's a mess in here, as you can see. Look at all the mess in here. This is how I be, I'm, I'm messy when I work, so I'll have to clean it up and then give you guys a, a complete tour of the entire system uh, once everything is up and running. So, woo, I'm telling you right now. There's a lot of things that's gonna be happening in the future, so I got a big plans for a lot of big other systems. This is just the beginning right now, um, but we're gonna keep going and going and going and going. Hopefully this whole thing will be full of aquaponic systems. That's the dream. So with that being said, I will see you guys on the next episode.